What's happening, fam? LA, y'all moving, still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link could be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also to ask me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. But this video, though, this video is entitled You Weren't Supposed to Be a Competent Black Man. Find myself in this situation a few times this week. And I come to the realization as a perpetually that I wasn't supported in life like other people. And when I come to talk to sisters, a lot of them, even when they're successful, they have a heck of a support system. Who, who wanted them to be better, but 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 as far as the guys, we weren't supposed to be competent. We were just left to figure it out. Now, some of the smartest people in life learn to adjust, adapt, adjust and adapt to circumstances. So what I mean by that is, when I was young, I used to see, you know, people help the girls fill out certain paperwork and these be in these organizations and get and get scholarships and loans. I'm like, how did? And I, I I said this story before. When I was when I was in high school, when I was seeing this happening, I was living with my mother, and I was like, so don't I got to fill out paperwork and this, that, and the third, you know, how, to get a college? Don't I have to do that? She's like, no, no, I got it. I got to take care of. I got to college. Literally drove. She dropped me off on the campus with my grandmother and said. Here's eight hundred dollars. Make the rest. Now, mind you, I had spent the first two years prior asking her, "What do I have to do, or what kind of paperwork do I have to fill out?" She said, "Absolutely nothing." So, from where I started to where I'm at now, I wasn't supposed to be competent because I was hung out to dry early, and I know a lot of brothers like that, but. As an adult, I, ha I, I come across these situations with sisters all the time where I've met so many young ladies who felt like I was beneath them, but they needed my help. But even with my help, I was beneath them. And it was some type of competition because we can take Vastly different paths to get where we're at. But I'm still, you know, gradually progressing. And there's like this resentment to the fact that, you know, some of them have had better houses, better cars, uh, better li lifestyles. And, and one by one, falls apart, falls apart, falls apart, falls apart. And I realized why. Because there are a lot of people who society has, a, you know, as a black man, society looks at me differently as a, than it looks at everybody else. So I've seen a lot of incompetent people in all these other groups. I've seen a lot of incompetent women, whether they be black, white, Asian, Hispanic, you know, Muslim Same thing with the men Seen a lot of incompetent men like this Seen a lot of incompetent people who were um, Homosexual But There is a kind of buffer for, for them in their stupidity But it always catches up with them Because you can't just be incompetent for Forever in a day and it not catch up with you as an adult but me, I'm not supposed to be a competent black man. I wasn't never supposed to be. So it's offensive if, if I have the knowledge. It's offensive if I have the skills. It's offensive if I'm in a position that they are in or I'm in a position longer than they were in it or I'm doing things that they, they used to do or they can't do. Or they're trying to do and they're trying to figure out how can I do it and they can't. Because basically they were propped up 
in a position that sometimes that they didn't earn. So, you know, this is what happens when you give people, um, you give people more than they actually work for and earn in life, and they turn out being spoiled and entitled. So now what? You know what I'm saying? What, what are you going to do now? And that's the issue. And nobody wants to address it, but this is what I'm talking about. Because so many times I've seen this over and over and over again, where it's a situation where a person is like, I, I, I was dealing with sisters who were giving me this look like they got some magical power. I'm a woman. I'm special. You know, don't you have a mother? Ah, it's like you look fucking stupid. You know that, right? I said the magical words that all moms say to their sons, and I know you're you you're stupid just like the other sons. You don't know anything. I'm your master. Like, okay, all right. You know you're fucked up, right? <laughs> but you weren't supposed to be the competent one, right? So. They do these, you know, uh, uh, low-key disses, low-key sabotage, and then you keep moving and you keep moving, and they, they keep getting madder and madder and madder. Why are they upset? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why they mad, son. It's because at the end of the day, you were not supposed to be smarter than them because you wasn't raised to be smarter than them. You were not supposed to to be uh, uh, um wiser than them and make better long-term decisions than them because you wasn't raised to, to, to be in that position. You were not supposed to be skilled at anything. You were not raised to be put in a position where you think um, multifaceted. You know, and people forget if you, if, when, when you, life is just like school. Once you, you can start off behind somebody and then learn at a pace and then start to adapt and become smarter than that person. And what, why? Because you have to experience things that they don't. You know, as a black man, you get a lot of hands-on experience. A lot of people are sheltered from things that we're not. So they don't have the vast uh, wealth of knowledge because I've seen this so many times where People are dumb to the simplest things that you could figure out. You know what I'm saying? Like you could figure this shit out. It's, it isn't that it isn't that difficult. But because you look at learning this as beneath you, because you feel like it's unimportant, then it becomes wait, no, 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 no. That's very important. And the same thing goes with these quote unquote complex concepts. You see people. A competent is like, eh, they say it's a complex comp concept. Let me check it out. This is it. This is it. Man, I'm about to kill this shit. And then you get this resentment like, how did you, how did you know to be that good at that? What? Is, uh, it's like, what is your problem? Like you're the only person on the planet that's supposed to be be good at, it, at something. What are you doing? What are you saying? And and it, and it plays into a lot of stupid stereotypes because you wasn't supposed to be a competent black man. And see, and this this goes into class and caste. When people feel like you're beneath them, you're not supposed to be better at anything than them because society didn't put you in a position to be better at at these people and other things. How can you be smarter than somebody when they were in the same class with you, but the teachers cater to them and they send you to detention? Oh, how did that happen? You know what I'm saying? How could you be more well off than this person when they give this person all kinds of breaks, but they make sure they throw you under the bus? How did you wind up above them? How did that happen? You're not supposed to be competent. How did they, how did you wind up better than them when they did all this to prop up their confidence and empower them and to make them feel like they were better than they were. And they threw, you know, and they threw you in a dungeon and say, figure it out. How did you wind up empowering yourself? How did you make something out of nothing and they made nothing out of everything? How did it happen? 
And I, I notice this over time that you, you know, people are upset because you're not supposed to be competent. Because what winds up happening is the very black man that you think you're better than, you got to go ask him for advice. You need his help. You need him to fix it. You need him to show you how to be a better person. And that burns a lot of people up. You know, how did these niggas get there? And I'm talking about everybody. So uh, I'm done with this video. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Deuces.